So here's the heat recovery of the ventilator, trying to retain some of the heat, but get some fresh air. This little fan I was using, it's a low power, a max of 1.2 watts. There's two, one pushing air out, one pulling air in. I have about 800 square feet of, of house, uh, 94 inch tall ceilings, which ends up being about 62, a little over 6,200 cubic feet. Um, so 7.56 cubic feet uh, per minute fan is not a whole lot, but 60 minutes and so forth, that ends up being about 1.7 whole house air changes per day. Um, this is the temperature probes, all showing the same temperature initially. Um, and then we have 40 degree roughly temperature day, and then I have roughly a 30 degree temperature day, and then there was a roughly 20 degree temperature day, and then we got down to roughly a in the teens to outside temperature. Okay, so I took all that data and I threw it into a basic little spreadsheet here and I'll walk you through it. Um, I didn't take everything into account, of course. Um, I didn't, so the, the, the density, for instance, of air changes also with pressure and with humidity and with, you know, how much pollen's in the air and all kind of little. So this isn't like super fine, tight. Um, it's just kind of getting us into the ballpark um, to try to quantify the results of this to see how much heat is retained and so forth. Um, so we're going to start here. This is the, um, I'm using 7.56 cubic feet per minute. Now there's two of those fans, but because one blows out and one blows in, that's basically only one of them worth of air that's being changed because they just balance each other. Um, and it, they went over a duration of 24 hours. Um, so the two fans are at maximum um, 100, uh, 1 1.2 watts uh, together, 2.4 watts of electrical power, um, which means that we got a maximum of 7. Point, I'm sorry, 557 watt hours to run the fans all day. Now, the calculation to, to figure out the energy is just basically going back to the specific heat capacity of air and the density of air. And so this is just a quick walkthrough. If you've never done this kind of conversion, we've got the flow rate. In this case, it's 7.5. Five six cubic feet per minute. Now I gotta I'm gonna convert that. You don't have to, but I'm converting it to uh, cubic meters um, instead of cubic feet. And the conversion for that is technically we got a bigger decimal up there, but so so we're converting here. That's just a unit conversion. And then we have the density. And so the density of air does change. You can see up here as it changes with different temperatures and so forth. Um, but if we're just like I said, getting into the ballpark, we got a density conversion here. How many? kilograms of air is this many cubic meters. And then we have the specific heat capacity of that weight of air. And then the specific capacity um, is that much per degree K or Kelvin. Um, it's the same scale size as Celsius. So you can use Celsius. You just have to be aware that it has to be an absolute measurement. You can't flip signs. Um, so uh, as long if you're all on the plus side of Celsius, you could just do straight Celsius. But since if you go over the freezing point, um, then you need to do a conversion to get into Kelvin. So it's just um, delta K is just a change, high minus low. You just need to know the difference. And then a unit conversion, we want to say how many minutes are in an hour, and then another unit conversion, how many hours in a day. So for example, just one of these and one degree K or one degree Celsius of temperature change for running that all day long ends up resulting in 178, uh, 107.8 watt hours per day. Um, for that one degree of difference for all that air, when all that air ended up being about 10,886 cubic feet in the day, which for the density of air is gonna be around 386 kilograms of air over the course of that day. Now my specific waste heat recovery ventilator tried to get some fresh air in, but retain some of the heat, ended up getting numbers like this. So my total with the watt hours of heat lost and the electricity to consume the fan um, at a certain intake. So here we have the intake uh, when the outside air was 42.8 degrees Fahrenheit, I was able to waste heat recover and bring that up to 64.6 degrees Fahrenheit before coming into the house. Um, the inside air temperature lost uh, 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit in that exchange, um, which resulted in about 219 watt hours of energy lost throughout the day. Um, so when the outside air temperature was 35 degrees, it warmed it up to 63 and cost me about 273 watt hours. When the outside air temperature was 24 degrees Fahrenheit, it warmed it up to about 62 and that cost me about 447 watt hours. And when the outside air temperature dropped down to 17 degrees Fahrenheit, this actually managed to pull it back up to 61 degrees Fahrenheit, which was a, uh, um, 555 roughly watt hour of energy lost 
Um, so it, it gave me that fresh air. It did still lose a chunk of energy, but not nearly as much as if I just pulled straight 17 degree Fahrenheit air in um, because of the recovery. I also show a couple little things here, like the percentage of the original retain. So on the inside, um, you can see when the temperatures are closer, we don't lose as much. Um, and then and then as the temperature difference gets bigger and bigger outside, I'm losing more and more. And the same thing on the outside. Uh, we start off tighter, and as the outside gets colder and colder, um, we're losing more and more. <laughs> um, so that's roughly how it performed. Fairly good all in all. Um, of course, a higher cubic feet per minute fan would be able to move more air, but even just this little 7.56 cubic feet per minute fan over a 24-hour period is going to move a chunk of air. Um, so it's enough for ventilation purposes for this. Um, and that's how well this performed. I'll eventually be moving on to combine a small uh, heat pump modification hack, uh, which will allow this. It'll cost more electricity, but it will uh, hopefully perform a little better. But just straight up, just running the fan, this is how it well works. Not bad for a do-it-yourself little chubby.